Hey guys, so this is LT about to do a video for Libra. As you guys know, my videos are timeless. So whenever you watch this video, I feel like it's applicable to your life. So um, if you haven't already, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. This will be a love day for you guys. So just trying to see what's going on with y'all. All right, the first card here is the Three of Summers. So you guys may have some news worth celebrating with your partner. Like maybe you get a new house or maybe you decided to be in a relationship with your partner. Or it also could be just like simply like, you know, you guys are just having fun, experimenting, you know, enjoying life. But you do have something that, you know, is just a little out of the ordinary. And I feel like you really actually are enjoying your um, partner, you know, like enjoying this relationship, enjoying um, you guys' time together. Ooh. So this is somebody from your past. I'm sorry, I'd be excited. Ooh, that'd be like, ooh. <laughs> so this person that is coming back is definitely somebody from your past, right? So this is somebody you may have children with. Um, they're coming back. Um, they're wanting a new beginning with you. Um, you have news worth celebrating. It feels like it's good, positive energy. It feels like you're comfortable with this person. So you had a tower moment with them though, uh, with the life experience card. Like something happened where it kind of like shook up some things for you. So I feel like even though like you guys are back together, it feels like you kind of having a hard time moving forward because you have some, like some people are like this. Um, and I know this because like on my life, my lives that I do. Some people have a hard time actually getting over the past, even though you may want a particular person, right? Um, you may love and yearn for that particular person, but at the same time, you guys are having a hard time overcoming like the past hurt. It's like, almost like, why did that person do me like that? Because I can't, it's, you having a hard time moving forward here. So I feel like that's affecting you um, a lot because you know, you got news worth celebrating. I feel like your partner is really trying, but you kind of like hit this this roadblock, like, hmm, like how do I move forward? You know, and spirit is actually saying, trust your intuition with this person. If it feels good, you know, if it feels good, do it. If it feels like, and don't work and don't act in fear, but if it feels like scary or feels like you can't trust this person, then you have to like pull back your energy here. You know, but I do feel like with the news or celebrating card, like it's something fun, you know, like it's something that has the potential to really grow. That um, the only thing about that is maybe you feel like that person cheated on you, like because that could be a third party car card as well. Maybe you feel like they cheated on you, and you're having a hard time overcoming that. And then you have the princess of the winner here. And so it's kind of like you trying to make a decision. Like you just want the truthful um, energy. You want something very realistic. You want this person to just kind of like tell you exactly like what they want and show you what they want. Pull some more cards here. Sorry. Yeah. Card at the bottom of the deck. You kind of want something more deeper than this. It's like on one hand, you you can see yourself with this partner. On the other hand, maybe it's, it's been a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, and you're having a hard time get like getting back on track with this person. So it's like you're kind of trying to see things out almost, you know? Like you want this person, but this person is really, maybe they're not considerate of your feelings or maybe they don't care about your feelings or maybe you feel like that. Let's pull some cards here. I'm trying to get the story behind this. All right, give me some more cards for Libra. So you kind of at a loss with this situation. Man, that sucks because I feel like you have something really positive, but... It's like, like your person is back to offer you something, but you're having a hard time moving forward. So you kind of like at a loss with the situation. Like you just really don't know what to do because you 
you wanted things to be different. You thought things was going to be different, right? And so you have the solitude card here. It's like, you kind of like just pulling back your energy, trying to figure out what direction you really need to take here. I feel like you may be spending a lot of time at home, like in your own, um, in your own zone or trying to uh, maybe uh, spend time around your family, you know, um, or your home life like that. Because it's like you trusted somebody and that person broke your trust like that. Maybe they cheated, you know, and like even though they're here, it's, I feel like it's that iffy feeling like you don't really know what direction to really take. But you've been waiting on this person to come back, though. Like, you've been waiting and hoping this person came back. Maybe you thought that they was going to come back with an apology here. Um, the way that you've been uh, focusing your energy is that you've just been working. You've been just kind of like trying to focus on yourself. Focus on working. Focus on bettering yourself here. This relationship should bring so much uncertainty to you. You just don't know what. It's like they have something to offer, but you're so uncertain about it. You just wish that things was different. You wish that you had an opportunity. You wish that you had this opportunity, but it's like you wish that um, the opportunity would have been like, you wish that they didn't do what they did. You wish you had this opportunity where if they, uh, if they didn't make that mistake, you get what I'm saying? But you've been longing for this connection. That's the crazy thing. So even though, like, you are, it's a little uncertain uh, with this person. you kind of been longing for this relationship here. And, like, I do see you giving your time. And that's this person giving a time. It looks like they want to explore this relationship. And you do, too. Maybe you're going to take a leap of faith. But maybe you're just scared to take that leap of faith. You know, like... They really, they really um, hurt you, you know. They had you feeling some type of way. And, like, you're just trying to figure out, like, how to overcome this. I really feel like it's a lot of scary energy. Like, you're trying to figure out if they're the same person, you know, the same person who hurt you. Like, Spirit is saying that it's time for you to heal, though. You know? I feel like everything is kind of, like, coming out to the light. And it's like, it's your time to heal. You know, like... Everything is going to be revealed. Spirit is going to let you know what what direction to take, what which one not to take, you know. I feel like maybe the best, best thing that you can do is set out your boundaries here with this person. You know, set those boundaries. Because, um, like, maybe, the support, uh, maybe you're trying to have, like, a deeper conversation with this person, too. And when they come back, and maybe they're not wanting to have that particular conversation of why they, they mistreated you, right? Maybe they feel like they can just jump back into this connection and they don't, they don't have to actually um, have a conversation with you, which is like making you still angry about like what they did. But your perception and everything is going to change, but I do feel like this person been watching you, you know? Like they've been watching you from afar um, um, in this connection. Like I do see that you trying to... Um, you know, trying to let this relationship build, you know. But I feel like you may be just kind of like still pulling back your energy. Even though as the relationship build, it's like you may still pull back your energy and be like scared to really trust this person. You know, it's like it's like you got one foot in, one foot out with this connection here. You know, but I do feel like this person, I say give him another chance, Le uh, Leo. You may be dealing with Leo. Um, Libra, give him another chance because... It looks like you have happiness with this person. Like, this person is going to provide you with joy, you know. Um, just continue to work on your sh yourself, your shadow side here. Uh, you have the mirror card. So, you guys are kind of, like, mirroring each other. That may be your twin flame, you know. I don't start telling y'all that y'all have twin flames because people take that uh, the wrong way. Um, like, absolutely. So you also going to have, because they, I said that because people um, allow BS to happen because they have twin flames, you know, like they, they feel like, okay, if that's my twin flame, then I got, I could get punched in my gut 
and I can come back to them and I can let this person use and abuse me and that's not what they supposed to do. You also have a talking card here. So I do see that you guys will be conversing more. Oh, but Libra, it's like you're gonna walk away from this person. It's like you're doing, you're getting all this good stuff. You find happiness, but you see, it seems like you just not accepting that. It's like at the end of the day, you just de you decide that you deserve better. Like this is not what you're looking for. Like I th it, it looks like you know that offer that they have. You still end up choosing you. Hmm. So anyway, guys, that's gonna be the end of it. That's actually interesting. Y'all, let me know how that resonates for you guys. Um, I definitely want to thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.